I have a computer whereas it just doesn't want to keep time and what I'm going to do today is we're going to take a look at this situation examine the situation and see what it is that we can do about the situation um, ladies and gentlemen feel free to share with us what your thoughts are about this and you know if you ever come across a situation like this let us know you know you know how it turned out for you and also we would like for you to rate this video five stars also don't forget to subscribe that's the big deal alright let's get started I'm gonna boot this system now it's an old gateway from like 1998-1999 and here goes nothing I've run into an issue here. Um, it asks me, actually, it gives me a 0271 error and it tells me to check the date and time settings. So I have the option of going into the BIOS, which is the Phoenix BIOS uh, 4.0 release 6. Um, but I'm going to continue for now, so I'm going to press the escape button. Now I run Windows 98 because the system is great for Windows 98. It's a Pentium 2, running 256 megabytes of RAM. Um, so it's a fairly old system, but um, you can run some pretty basic software on it. Uh, like the system itself cost 10 bucks and I was like yeah man it boots fine but I saw that little error but didn't think nothing of it and then now it's like huh that's a big problem like if you got a system and it just can't keep time so really just to show you what it is that I'm talking about um, we'll zoom in now I can set the clock I guess within the operating system. Let's see here if we can get this focused. Which is uh, well, you know, the lower right hand side of the screen. I could set that by there. But, um, nah. Then every time I boot, I'm going to run into the same problem. It's a little 3 volt battery that I was looking for that I had an issue with. Maybe for the sake of argument, I should go ahead and change it because I'd rather have a, you know, a new fresh battery in my system as opposed to one that may go dead at any given time or maybe just barely putting out the voltage. And I don't really have a multimeter here for the testing. And I just don't want to take that chance. So I'm going to get set up and we're going to show you how it's done. And we're replacing the uh, CR2032 3 volt battery. Um, be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Um, we're going to go ahead and perform the battery change on this old school gateway. Um, you can buy a kit to ground yourself in case, or you could just kind of, you could just actually touch the case with your hand, your bare hand, for the grounding. And uh, also, while I'm at it, I need to grab something I can actually get in the ground with. I'm just going to take a good old flat head, ground it, my attention into the case as well, to help me get at the battery. Now, I need you guys to see this real quick. I'm going to some detail and action up there. Alright, and uh, I'm just going to kind of get at this old battery with the edge of this. And the way it 
you know, is seated in there, you got to kind of push it back and then proceed to lift it and then pop it out like so. Alright. Once again, I'm grinding myself against the case. Old batteries out. Take old battery. Throw it in the garbage real quick. Got the new battery in hand. It's a shiny new lithium battery. Now the reason I'm doing this is like I explained the circumstances. And I'm like, you know, I don't want to take a chance. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna replace that battery that we pulled out. Notice I'm so grounded with the, the case and everything. And we're gonna slide this battery in you know pretty much the way it came out gently and I'm gonna use just my index point right there. and boom and just clicked right in just like that make sure everything's secure boom. now I'm pretty confident that should solve our battery problem with this case so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the case on this um, 11 24 all I did was hit tab uh, and let's see we're gonna go down to the system date system date my date uh, I'll be right back to the screen let's make sure it is Hello. I'm trying to get the little uh, I'll just click into that date and time it was July 24, 2008. Just I'm gonna double check to make sure that everything is good. Save configuration and exit route. Alright, let's see how it goes. The system is going through the rebios boot. Appears to be booting normally. It looks good. I mean, no doubt, if your if your computer system cannot keep time, then it's a serious problem. And um, it it just it really affects the whole system in terms of just you know everything. It's just it just makes everything sloppy. Um, so if you ever had a computer like that, you know, let us know about. We'll, we'll probably even tell you what you could probably do about it. Um, also, most importantly, um, you know, uh, leave us five stars, a comment, subscribe to the videos, and in conclusion, if your computer can't tell time, that's bad. Alright, my name is Paul Wilson. Thanks for your time, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day.